In this tutorial, we demonstrate three different ways you can convert HTML to a PDF document. In the first example, we use Dynamic PDF HTML Converter for .NET to convert HTML to a PDF. This product is specifically for converting HTML to PDF and offers an economical alternative to our other two products, Dynamic PDF Core Suite and Dynamic PDF Converter, if your conversion needs are limited to converting HTML to PDF. In the second example, we use Dynamic PDF Core Suite to convert HTML to a PDF. Dynamic PDF Core Suite is our flagship product for handling all your PDF creation, merging, and manipulation needs. Finally, after illustrating Dynamic PDF Core Suite's capabilities, we finish by using Dynamic PDF Converter for .NET to convert HTML to PDF. This product allows converting from over 50 different document formats to PDF. Document formats include Excel, Word, Images, and many other input formats, including HTML. Dynamic PDF Converter was created for all your PDF conversion needs. In the three examples, you will see just how easy converting HTML to a PDF can be when you use Dynamic PDF. Let's get started by using Dynamic PDF HTML Converter to convert HTML to PDF and show you just how easy it is to convert HTML to PDF. Create a new Visual Studio project named HTML to PDF Example. Console app.net core next HTML to PDF Example. Create. We're going to create three classes illustrating how to convert HTML to PDF. So, before continuing, Let's add the NuGet packages for all three packages, Dynamic PDF Core Suite, Dynamic PDF Converter, and Dynamic PDF HTML Converter. Install, OK, Accept. Install. OK, accept. Create a new class named HTML Converter Example. Add class HTML Converter Example. Add the HTML Converter using statement using cete.dynamicpdf.htmlconverter Create a new static method named convert public static void convert Call the converter convert method and pass a URI and the output PDF path in the method converter.convert New URI HTTP colon forward slash forward slash en dot wikipedia dot org comma now the output path C colon backward slash HTML dash two PDF backward slash simple conversion dot PDF return to the program class and replace the right line statement with the HTML converter example classes convert method HTML converter example dot convert. Run the application. Open the generated PDF and you see the HTML page outputted as a PDF. Now let's illustrate using formatting options when saving as a PDF. Create a new conversion options class instance and in the constructor set the page size as letter and orientation as portrait and the font is 50. Conversion options, options, equals, new, conversion options, page size, dot A4, page orientation, dot portrait, 50F. To the newly created options instance, add the author. Options, dot, author, equals, myself. Now let's set the title. Options 
dot title equals my web page. Now let's set the header and footer for the PDF by setting the options instances header and footer properties. Now to the converter class call the convert method. Add the URL, the output file name, and the conversion options. New URI the path to the U, the path to the URL let's do the path to the output file the options run the application open the created PDF document notice the header the footer and the web page converted to a PDF Also notice the properties contain the author and the title. For the second example, let's use Dynamic PDF Core Suite to convert HTML to PDF. Create a new class named Core Suite Example. Add class Core Suite Example. Add the using statement for dynamic PDF using cete.dynamicpdf. Create a new static method named convert. Public static void convert. Add a new page info class instance and in the constructor specify the page size and the page orientation. Equals new page info page size dot a4 page orientation dot portrait create a new URI instance and set the URL in the constructor URI equals new URI the path to the HTML document which will be Wikipedia again Create a new HTML layout instance and in the constructor pass the URI and the page info. HTML layout. Let's pass the URI and the layout page. Create a new document class instance from the HTML layouts layout method. HTML.layout. Call the documents draw method and specify the output path. Let's specify the path to the output file. HTML dash two dash PDF backward slash core suite dash output dot PDF. Add the core suite example and convert call to the main method in program. A core suite example dot convert. Run the program. Close the window. Open the PDF and you see it was converted to a PDF. Note that Dynamic PDF Core Suite, unlike our other two products, currently supports HTML4. In a future Core Suite version, we will upgrade to support HTML5. Now let's add some formatting to our example by adding a header and footer to the generated PDF. In the HTML layout instance, specify that the PDF's header is centered. Specify the header's text, that it has page numbers. 
header.center.has page numbers equals true. Specify the width as 200. HTML.header.center.width equals 200. Now specify the footer's text and that it has page numbers. Also set the footer's width to 200. HTML.footer.center.has page numbers equals true. HTML.footer.center.width equals 200. Run the example. Close the window. Open the outputted PDF and notice the document is printed with a header and a footer. Let's finish up by using Dynamic PDF Converter to convert HTML to PDF. Create a new class named Converter Example. Add class Converter Example. Add the conversion using statement. Create a new static method named convert. Add a new instance of an HTML conversion options class and in the constructor, set the value to false. This tells the HTML conversion options instance that we are not appending to an existing PDF. Create a new HTML converter class and in its constructor, set the path to the HTML document to convert and the options specified in the HTML conversion options instance new HTML converter, the new URI, http en.wikipedia.org, the options, add the converter convert method and in the method specify the output path for the created PDF c colon backward slash html dash two dash pdf backward slash converter dash output dot pdf add the call to converter example dot convert to the program class's main method converter example Dot convert. Run the application. Close the window. Open the PDF and we see that the web page was outputted as a PDF document. In this tutorial, you converted HTML to PDF using three of Dynamic PDF's many products. We used Dynamic PDF HTML Converter, then Dynamic PDF Core Suite, and finally Dynamic PDF Converter. Dynamic PDF HTML Converter allows any .NET developer to quickly convert HTML to PDF. It supports the latest CSS and JavaScript and can output to a file or a byte array. Dynamic PDF HTML Converter is intuitive, efficient, and cost-effective if your needs are converting HTML to PDF. Dynamic PDF Core Suite also converts HTML to PDF. Dynamic PDF Core Suite is ideal for anyone who needs to create PDF documents, reports, or work with existing PDFs in their applications. Creating a PDF from HTML is just one of Dynamic PDF Core Suite's many features. Finally, you converted HTML to PDF using Dynamic PDF Converter. Dynamic PDF Converter for .NET allows any .NET developer to dynamically convert over 50 file types to PDF. The example in this tutorial, HTML, is just one of those 50 file types. On our website, you can find documentation and more information, 
including a link to the GitHub project containing the examples from this tutorial. For support, refer to our support page. There you will find forums, user manuals, examples, or you can email us. Dynamic PDF is your one-stop shop for all things PDF. With so many available features for working with PDFs and .NET, transparent pricing, and free trial editions to try before you buy, why not consider Dynamic PDF today? I'm James at Dynamic PDF reminding you, when you think PDF, think Dynamic PDF. See you next time.